Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is Bradford City versus Harrogate Town vlog now if you do go on to enjoy today's video please make sure you drop a like on it if you could try and hit 100 likes on today's video that'd be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers so make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already get your post notification bell as well so you never miss a video of when I upload and make sure as well to drop a comment in down in the comment section down below what were your thoughts on today's game share the video around with your family and friends as well now team news has actually come out before I've left today it looks like 442 daily on the wing is interesting Callum Cook on the bench I don't really understand why he's being dropped. I don't think he was terrible against all of them whatsoever. But Tom Elliott starts. We've actually got two strikers up front at home. So in terms of score prediction, I'm sticking with my 2 0 Harrogate. I'm going Muldoon and Diamond to get the goals for them. Not confident at all going into it. Can we hopefully show a little bit more fight and actually intent to win the match rather than what we did on Saturday? But make sure you drop a like on today's video. Subscribe if you are new as well. And I shall see you all at Valley Parade. As you can see, the attendance here isn't great. But who can blame anybody for not coming? after the recent performances. I haven't sold out, but as always, fair play to those who have travelled. They're uh, definitely enjoying it up in that corner. I mean, I would say it has to be a win, but the season's already over, so it doesn't really matter. But come on, City. Just score a goal. That's a new one that they said they would play against Arrogant. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. It's after he's very whistle happy. Oh, they're from Muldoon and he finds Page. What a goal that was. What a finish. Matty Folds, that is unbelievable. What a goal. See you there. Oh, brilliant recovery tackle up and down so He is being fantastic in this game. Come on. Oh, get it up. Shots blocked. Cook's been held there. Referee! 
How's that not a penalty? You think she'd been held? How's that not a pen? Someone's gonna take a foul. Good tackle! Good tackle! That is unbelievable. Well, we think we need more than one goal. They scored that from our corner. Yeah. Sutton's gone into the book now. This referee's completely lost the plot. Why are we bringing a right? Why are we bringing a right back on when we need a goal? And we need two goals. What is going on? <laughs> When's the day we're going to beat these? Oh, 
drivers in, they have to get home, he shoots, he scores, game over, absolutely protected, absolutely protected, land with the goal. Oops, and now go, go in now. There's still six minutes left to play and look how empty it is. Absolutely embarrassing. Footballing. It's coming out to the club and again they throw everything in front of it. I just gotta you gotta reward it. They want they want it all, they just want it all. Well, I would say I've got mixed emotions after that game. On the whole, I thought we tried definitely a lot more than all of them, but and it pains me to say this, we've been out-qualited by Harrogate Town. I mean, I just want to give full credit to Harrogate before I get into my rant, because I don't mean any disrespect by what I have to say. Take it all with a pinch of salt and everything, because Harrogate are literally everything I wish Bradford City were. They're a team who don't necessarily have the, the most quality. They've got some decent players in there, like Jack Diamond and etc. But they've got a team full of people who are going to work hard. They're first to every second ball. They never back out of a 50-50. And they just want to win. And we just don't have that. I thought, on the whole, we actually played quite well today. And we've still come away with a 3-1 defeat. You know, after all of them, I was like, yeah, you can tell. It was a shocking performance. They look like they don't care. But after today, we... We, we tried a little bit, you know, we were actually putting tackles in and all that sort of stuff and we conceded a terrible goal right on the, the edge of half time, you know, it's a break from our corner instead of taking a foul on the halfway line, we let them run up all the way up the other end, they get a corner and for some reason we don't put anybody on the front or back post even though we have everyone in the penalty area and, and it's another set piece that we've conceded, I don't know what's happened to us but we suddenly can't defend set pieces now. The second goal, Elliot Watts messing about with the ball and Levi Sutton has to, is it, I'm not sure if it's a foul, I think it's a bit soft but yeah, Elliot Watt loses the ball, Sutton puts a foul and it's a great finish from Page but again Bass has got to be setting up his wall up better so again another mistake from Alex Bass which I really really want to like the guy because I feel like we've seen what he can do but it's time after time that he's and I'm not blaming the result on him today but he's conceding three goals which isn't really ideal he's the keeper at the end of the day and then the defence on the whole again I thought played quite well you know the third goal I don't really know what happens to Maris Vivi just Jack Diamond finds his way uh, in on goal and he slots it past Alex Bass and I'm just deflated after that. I think I'm done for the season now. I don't really plan on going to any away games. If home games haven't already been paid for, I wouldn't be going to them either. Fair play to the Harrogate fans as well. You know, I didn't think their numbers were great today, but their noise was quite good. It reminded me of that Hartlepool game when we lost 3-1 to them on the Tuesday night. It's very similar, but we have to appoint a new manager. Tomorrow, Richie Wellens was at the game today, so maybe he's a new manager for years. It's not the appointment for me personally I know he did well at Swindon but he's Doncaster spell this season I just don't really think he's what we need to be honest with you I think we need a short term appointment until the end of the season just someone who's going to I don't know make them try a bit I'm not really too sure I'm glad I'm not the one making this decision because it's a massive decision for the football club we're definitely not safe from relegation I just think there'll be more teams that are worse than us this season to be honest with you I think we need to you know put some contracts on the table for some people I know you're thinking why are you saying that after a loss but I just think if they're not going to sign a contract now, then we might as well try and cash in on someone and sell them to non-league or something like that because some of our best players are out of contract in the summer and we can't be losing some of them for free. But that's where I'm going to leave it for today's video. Disappointing, but signs of improvement is what I take on the whole. You know, I thought... As a whole, like I said, we played quite well. You know, we actually tried a little bit and we've still come away with a defeat to a team who you'd class as just someone who you play every pre-season. That's the fourth time we've played Harrogate now, the fourth time that we've beaten them. Just not good enough, is it? But if you have enjoyed watching today's video, please make sure you drop a like on it. If you could try and hit 100 likes on today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers. So make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. Get your post notification bell as well so you never miss a video of when I upload. And make sure as well to drop a comment in down in the comment section down below. What were your thoughts on today's defeat? Share the video around with your family and friends as well. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching and I shall see you all Potentially tomorrow if we do announce a new manager. If not, then it will be Thursday for the Mansfield match preview. Our next like six or seven games are all against like the top six or seven. So this could be fun. I'll see you all later. Peace.